Yeah, um, this technology was developed um, about a year ago. Uh, it was the first time that we discovered a new biology. Essentially, we found that when you have inflammation in your arteries and the arteries supplying blood to the heart, then the fat around the heart and around the arteries senses this inflammation and changes. At the beginning, there was a big challenge to be able to track these changes because we thought that if we are able to track these changes in the fat surrounding the arteries, then we'll be able to track the inflammation from in, coming from inside the arteries. So we developed then a technology that is based on analysis of uh, standard cardiac CT, computer tomography images, and uh, we essentially uh, map the changes in what we call attenuation of the fat around the arteries and that has been proven to be a very, very accurate biomarker that picks up changes in inflammation inside the arteries supplying blood to the heart. And it's important to pick up inflammation because that's what precedes the development of any narrowings that will cause later on heart attack. And it can also tell you, if you are able to detect inflammation, which of these narrowings are ready to break and cause heart attacks. So the challenge when we described this method about a year ago was to prove that by detecting this inflammation we can indeed predict heart attacks. Yeah, so the, the CRISP CT study is, um, is essentially validating the technology in two large cohorts. So we first included a cohort of 2,000 people who were recruited in Erlangen in Germany. They had CT scans about 10 years ago and they were followed up prospectively for a decade for events, heart attacks and death and cardiac uh, mortality. We analyzed these scans and we found that uh, there was a massive predictive value of this new biomarker, this new technology, in uh, terms of predicting who will develop these heart attacks and who will die from a heart attack, will have a fatal heart attack. Of course, the results back then looked too good to be true. So we will feel more confident if we validate the results in a second cohort. And this is why we collaborated with uh, um, uh, Cleveland Clinic in the US. And we used a second cohort on a, of another 2,000 people who again had a CT scan about uh, eight, nine years ago, and they were followed up prospectively for events, cardiac death, and heart attacks. And uh, the result was astonishing. So essentially, we confirmed exactly the same finding uh, that we had in the first cohort. So essentially, the CRISP-CT study is a study of uh, 4,000 people who had CT scans in two different centers, in two different continents, uh, and they were followed up prospectively for a decade. And we found that by analyzing this uh, perivascular fat and by uh, quantifying perivascular fat attenuation index, which is our new uh, biomarker, we are able to predict who will have the heart attack and treat these patients early enough to prevent the heart attacks.